Welcome back. You're watching Headlines Now. A delegation of 24 ministers visited Haryana today to take stock of the situation in wake of a spate of rape cases in the state. 17 rapes have been reported in more than a month in Haryana. The delegation included ministers from various parties who have visited Jin district to find out the reasons of a surge in rape cases and the measures that have been taken to curb them. Why such things are happening in Haryana? Unchecked. It is not the first time. Such incidents keep on happening in Haryana. Uh, whether it is the failure of the government, whether it is the failure of police forces, what is uh, the exact reason? Why the culprits uh, are not uh, nabbed promptly and punished uh, with uh, stringent measures? The French consulate official who was accused of raping his four-year-old daughter in Bangalore has been granted bail. Mr. Mazurier who was arrested on June 19th on a complaint by his wife alleging that he had raped his own daughter. The consulate official moved the High Court on August 7th, seeking bail application. In his petition, he pointed out that as per a forensic sciences laboratory, his test report, his DNA reports have been inconclusive. I am not very sure who exactly would be the culprit as of now, but I am reasonably convinced that this is the right decision. Uh, the DNA analysis shows there is more than one person and this particular gentleman who has been released has not been implicated in the DNA analysis directly. So it, on prima facie it looks like he is not the guilty party, but definitely the child has been abused, DNA has been found and we have to find out who that person is. That is what we have to do. Our major, major focus here is the safety of the child and the security of the child. And since in this instance uh, a child has been abused uh, by one or more people, we have been involved in trying to find out the truth and uh, that is really our focus. We want to try to find the truth and protect the child. No matter what, the child has to be protected. That is our only focus. Kingfisher Airlines will extend the date to restart the carrier's operation after a meeting with employees. Kingfisher said last week that uh, its uh, planes grounded since October 1st after an employee protest turned violent would not fly until October 20th. The airline said the talks have been positive and they're moving in the right direction and will have to extend the deadline to restart the operations. Australian Prime Minister Julia Gillard met Foreign Minister S.M. Krishna and discussed various bilateral issues related to trade and nuclear cooperation. Currently, the trade between the two countries is worth $20 billion and it's continuously increasing with every passing year. Gillard's visit to India is being viewed as a stepping stone for the sale of uranium to India with Australia initiating the process of discussions on the civil nuclear agreement. Early on Tuesday, Gillard said, the Australian government has modified the policy to pave way for providing uranium to India. US President Barack Obama on Wednesday scored a clear victory over Romney in the high-stake second presidential debate, putting up a combative performance as he slammed the Republican presidential rival on issues like outsourcing in Libya. As Obama faced Romney, he was under intense pressure to improve upon his lackluster performance of the first debate on October 3rd when Romney edged past him with a more aggressive and spirited performance. Obama did not repeat the mistakes he made in the first debate, aggressively hitting back at Romney on tax plans, outsourcing and his controversial remarks that 47% of Americans did not pay income taxes according to a national-wide poll conducted right after the debate. 46% of voters uh, declared Obama the winner, while 39% said Romney fared better. The, the president's policies throughout the Middle East began with an apology tour and, 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 and pursue a strategy of leading from behind, and this strategy is unraveling before our very eyes. Governor Romney had a very different response. While we were still dealing with our diplomats being threatened, Governor Romney put out a press release trying to make political points. And that's not how a commander-in-chief operates. You don't turn national security into a political issue. Certainly not right when it's happening. Today is World Trauma Day. Studies reveal that every year around 10 lakh children die due to injuries and a number of them sustain serious injuries requiring hospitalization. But these can be avoided by offering timely and quality medical assurance. 
Speaking to NDTV Hindu, Tamil Nadu Law and Order ADGP TK Rajendran insisted on the importance of the golden hour and expressed his concern over statistics that say deaths due to accidents is more in numbers than heinous crimes. The man in charge of law and order in Tamil Nadu, Mr. TK Rajendran. Sir, uh, we know that you are one among the busiest person in the state and you are here today. What is the significance? Today is World Trauma Day. Apollo Hospital has organized a function in this regard. They started this ACCT and police and the health department, healthcare services, both should join together and ensure that these accidents are minimized or prevented and the patient is rushed to the hospital within the golden hour and the children also taken care in this sort of situation and all should join together to ensure safe living accident free life in this regard both are joining together and they are doing the work that's the end of this bulletin stay tuned to ndtv hindu for more news and updates